Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video in English. My husband told me like you have to make a video in English. I'm like, okay, let's make the Among Us video in English. So I hope you don't mind my accent. I know it's very thick, but that's also part of my personality, right? I'm French, so I have a French accent. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the Among Us. I know it's like a big, big deal right now in the US, like everybody's talking about it. And so I was like, oh, why don't I make a, a pattern, you know, for like a, a Among Us character. So this is it. Uh, very, very easy. Like you only need to know single crochet increases, decreases. So if you are a beginner, this video is made for you. And what I love about like these little characters is that you can pick any colors you want. So you can really make it yours. I pick the red one because the most famous one, but you can pick blue, you can pick yellow, whatever you want, pink. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you uh, what supplies do you need. I also gonna add the link on my pattern. So you can download it and like print it is way easier to follow a pattern when it's printed. So I'm gonna add the link and there you go. Let's get started with the supplies. So for the supplies right here, I made the checklist so you can check every time you have something or you need something. First, you're gonna need fluffy yarn. In French, we call it chenille yarn. That, that means caterpillar because you see it's super soft and fluffy. It's perfect to make plushies. I know before it used to, um, to be for blankets, but I know right now a lot of people use it for plushies. I do love crocheting this yarn because it's like super soft, but you do have to pick a good quality because I don't know if you see how it's made, but you can really lose like little threads if it's not good quality. So. It's good to go for like a qualitative yarn and the result is gonna be even better. So um, I always go for the Estaco from Amazon. Honestly, I didn't know the brand, but because it's the first one that showed up on Amazon, I picked that one and honestly, it's pretty good for the price and you have plenty, plenty of colors. So you can go for the blue one, the red one, the light green like that is super cute and i know it's very trendy this summer so whatever color you want it doesn't matter then from the same brand you're gonna need like a black one because of the contour you see of the screen you can go for acrylic as well but i like the fact that it was like bigger you know so i went for like the black estaco um, yarn then to sew the screen on the body you will need a black cotton yarn you can find it everywhere doesn't matter the brand then white acrylic for the screen right here i picked acrylic and not cotton because usually acrylic is bigger than cotton and i wanted the screen to be as big as you know the plushies so i went from acrylic and i will add you the link because right now i don't remember which brand is it then you're gonna need two hooks the eight millimeter and the five five is for acrylic and the eight is for the caterpillar yarn which is crazy because here they recommend like i don't know if you see whatever 4.5 millimeter hook which is weird because i use the 8 millimeter and honestly i think the result was pretty good so you can always go a little bit or a lot more bigger than the recommended hook so this one 8 millimeter if you want a pretty big result then a round counter right here very very important because you're gonna have to make a lot of rounds and you have to count them. So that's one I found on Amazon as well and it's very good. Then adorning needles that come from like crochet beginner sets is to sew the screen on the body. 
then you're gonna need a stitch marker right here to to you know add on the first stitches of your round um last thing very important you need the stuffing right here i always use a polyester one from polyfill i guess it's the most famous one in the us because it's the one i always find and i always go for this one so here you are so um, please let me know if you have any question in the comment section and let's get started with the pattern okay guys so before we start just want to let you know i'm left-handed so everything may seem reverse to you but don't worry the techniques the stitches and the pattern are exactly the same if you are left or right-handed it doesn't matter so you can totally follow my video also to crochet the feet i use a different type of yarn because i really wanted the stitches to be visible so don't pay attention to the type of yarn i use for the feet and last thing the number of rounds are always indicated on the left corner so you can follow the pattern step by step by round one round two three four five so i hope you enjoy this pattern and let's get started so foot one you start with a magic circle i will add the video to learn how to make a magic circle and then you do six single crochet in this ring So that's the first one, you can add your marker on it and then you make six. After that, you will make six increases, so two single crochet in the same stitch. Now you make one single crochet and one increase. So you do that six times. That will give you a total of 18 stitches around your cir circle. Sorry. Now you stop increasing and you make one single crochet in each previous stitch you've made. So you still have 18 stitches around your circle.
And after this first round, you will make four other rounds the same way and your foot will start getting higher. So now you are done with your five rounds, you can cut your thread and finish up your uh, foot, you can close it. So you can see the way I do it, like to make it uh, discreet. So now you started your um, foot number two. It's exactly the same pattern as foot number one, don't worry. But you just have to add another round. So instead of making five rounds of the same stitches, you will make six. So after you are done with your six rounds, you make three chain stitches at the end of the, the round. You grab foot one and you pick any stitches that is around the last tour, the last round of foot one and you make a single crochet in it like that. You can add your marker because that will be the first stitch of your new round. And then you make one single crochet in each stitches around foot one. So there is 17 stitches left. So it's a total of 17 single crochet all around foot one. So now you are at your chain, you visualize the three external loops of this chain. So there are three, so you make three single crochet, one in each of them. So now you are at foot two and you make one single crochet in each stitches around this foot. So it's a total of 18 single crochet all around foot two.
So now you are back to the chain. You look for the three external loops of the chain and you make one single crochet in each of them. So three single crochet and you will notice you are back to the marker. So it means your round is over. You have a total of 42 single crochets. So try to count them to make sure your round is correct. And that will be the start of the body of your Among Us. So now we start the longest uh, part of the pattern because you will have to make 24 rounds of one single crochet in each stitches. So every time you will make 42 stitches around and that for 24 rounds. That's why it's important to have your um, round counter because it really helps to not get lost. So let's start, you have to make 24. So now you are done with your 24 rounds, you should have a result that looks like that. And now we will start making the screen. So you will need your hook 5mm and white acrylic yarn. So you make a chain of 21 chain stitches. Then in this chain, so you turn your work and you make one increase, so two single crochet in one stitch. You follow it by 19 single crochet and you finish it with one increase. So it will increase your number of stitches of 23. So I always start a row by one chain stitch, you know, to turn my work. So I put the marker on it. So then you make 10 rows of one single crochet in each stitch. So 23 stitch in each row.
So now you are done with your 10 rows, you should have a result that looks like that. And for the last row, you make one decrease, 18 single crochet, another decrease, and then you finish the row by one slip stitch. So here you can see where I will start to make my decrease. So now you take your black caterpillar yarn and you make one chain stitch with it. So like that you insert it in your screen. So here is your uh, chain stitch and then you make one single crochet in each stitches around the screen. So it doesn't have to be in like perfectly in each of them but you have to make a frame so you see like you pick your crochet in each of them and you make a single crochet So now you are done with this uh, black frame, you can cut the fret and make a knot in the back.
So now play the screen where it's shown on the picture and you can sew the screen to the body. So that's my technique. You don't have to use this sewing technique. If you have a better one, you are welcome to share it with me because I'm really not good at sewing. So you sew all around this frame following the black yarn. So before you are done sewing, insert a little bit of stuffing, not too much, just to give it like a, a small bump. And then you can make a knot. Now you can stuff the feet, so don't overstuff your um, your plushie because Among Us characters are supposed to be flat, so he cannot be overstuffed. So now we will start decreasing. So um, you make five single crochet, one decrease. You do that six times and I will give you a total of 36 stitches around your round. Same thing now, but instead of 5 single crochet, you make 4 single crochet and 1 decrease. That will give you 30 stitches around your round.
So start stuffing the body. As I said earlier, not too much. So now we keep decreasing three single crochet and one decrease, a total of 24 stitches. Now two single crochet and one decrease, so you really start getting smaller and smaller and you will have 18 stitches for your round. So finish stuffing the body, keep in mind that your plushie has to be kind of flat, so don't overstuff it. You are almost done, one single crochet, one decrease, so your round is getting very very small with 12 stitches around Before closing the round, you can add some stuffing if you consider it's needed. And we will start our last round. So it's round number 40. And you make six decrease. So one decrease in each um, stitch is left. It's, uh, I think, the more 
is the most difficult part. I always struggle here. It's never very, very nice. So here you see one decrease in each. So now you are done with the rounds, you can cut the thread and make a knot to make sure it's closed. Now you can take a darning needle and weave in within the stitches. I show you on the video how to do it. I do know each person has this technique, you know, like to close a work. Me, I always do it like that. So you pass your needle in each of the previous stitches. Sorry for the frame, it's terrible. And now with your darning needle, you will hide it in the body. So you will slip your needle somewhere, anywhere you want, in the body. You see, like that. Here you are. There you go, so now you're done with your uh, plushie. I hope you enjoy this pattern. I hope you found it easy and clear. Please leave me a comment to tell me if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me to make more videos like that. And I really, really appreciate it. Well, I wish you a good weekend and I see you soon. Bye bye.